This is one of the most enduring mysteries of the 20th century. A mystery entrenched in tragedy, royal massacre, and a lost princess. This is the story of Anastasia Romanov. Anastasia was the youngest daughter of Tsar Nicholas II, the last monarch of Russia, and his wife, Tsarina Alexandra, Queen Victoria's granddaughter. Born on June 18, 1901, Anastasia's birth was a disappointment to her parents who were under pressure to produce a male heir. Despite being a princess, Anastasia wasn't pampered or spoiled. She and her siblings led a strict life, sleeping on uncomfortable beds, starting each day with an ice-cold bath followed by cleaning and needlework. Anastasia was known for her sense of humor and mischief. She was often seen tripping servants, climbing trees, and meddling with her tutors. However, her mischief sometimes had a dark side, such as hiding a rock inside a snowball and throwing it at her sister Tatiana. This incident, among others, earned Anastasia the nickname Schwibzig, a corruption of the German Schwipzig, which translates as little mischief. But for Romanovs, the days of fun snow fights won't last very long. During the Bolshevik Revolution, a chilling event unfolded. The Romanov family, which had ruled Russia for over three centuries, met a brutal end. Tsar Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, their five children, and their loyal servants were led into the basement of the Ipatiev house in Yekaterinburg, where they were shot dead by the Bolshevik revolutionaries. The execution of the Romanov family was chaotic and poorly planned. The family and their servants were shot in a small room, and some reports suggest that the bullets and bayonets didn't kill them instantly. Anastasia and her sisters were wearing bodices sewn with over a pound of diamonds and precious gems. These makeshift bulletproof vests could have potentially protected them from the gunfire. In the confusion that followed the execution, it's possible that Anastasia or one of her siblings could have been overlooked in the hasty and careless burial that followed. Although it was claimed that bodies of the parents and all five children were laid on the cold ground, many questions started to raise especially when the corpses were being moved for a proper burial. It was discovered that out of five bodies of the children, two were missing. The bodies of the son, Alexei, and the youngest daughter, Anastasia. If you've made it this far, please make sure to subscribe and leave a like as it helps with the algorithm and will also encourage me to create more of such videos. All right, back to it. Anastasia's cunning nature only fueled the rumors and the legend that Anastasia had somehow escaped the execution started to surface. Over the decades, numerous personalities claimed to be Anastasia. The most famous among them was a woman named Anna Anderson. She arrived in New York City in 1928, claiming to be Anastasia. She was welcomed by Gleb Botkin, the son of the Romanov family doctor who was executed along with his patients in 1918. Anna Anderson's claim to be Anastasia wasn't taken lightly. She bore a striking resemblance to the lost princess and had scars on her body that could have come from the execution attempt. Moreover, Anderson was able to recount detailed memories from Anastasia's life and the Romanov family. Several people who had known Anastasia, including courtiers, tutors, and friends, met Anderson and some of them claimed that her mannerisms and characteristics were remarkably similar to those of the lost princess. Anderson's claim received public attention and she was treated as a celebrity during her stay in New York. However, the tale took a dramatic turn when a private investigation was launched. Funded by the Tsarina's brother, Ernest Lewis, Grand Duke of Hesse, the investigation sought to uncover the truth behind Anderson's claims. The investigators discovered that Anderson was not Anastasia, but Franziska Shanskowska, a Polish factory worker with a history of mental illness. Her symptoms included erratic behavior, bouts of hysteria, and claims of memory loss which could explain her ability to adopt a new identity so completely. Shanskowska had disappeared from her home around the same time Anderson surfaced in Berlin. Although Shanskowska turned out to be an imposter, what actually happened to Anastasia? 
This mystery surrounding Anastasia's fate continued to intrigue the world, but the truth was finally revealed when a diligent scientist later discovered the remains of two of the Romanov siblings in a separate grave near the original burial site, putting to rest the rumors that Anastasia had somehow survived the execution. Another question that comes to mind is, how did the Romanovs go from ruling Russia to being executed in such a brutal way? Now that's a topic for another video.